Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most overpowered yet underrated weapons you can find in Elden Ring's DLC. The Mesmer Soldier Spear is a pretty mid looking weapon compared to the other options you have in the Great Spear class. But don't let that fool you, this weapon is probably the strongest weapon of this class and one of the best weapons in all of Shadow of the Air Tree. To obtain this weapon, you have to farm the Mesmer Soldiers that have this spear. A great location to do it is at this camp close to the Mordrin side of Grace. The reason this weapon is so powerful powerful is its double hit charge R2 attacks. Both strikes deal piercing damage making it extremely effective against every type of enemy. The best part of this great spear is that it's infusible, which allows us to tweak its properties until we find the right skill and affinity to get the most out of it. In this case for our 200 level character, the best affinity will be quality, obtaining a slightly better AR from splitting strength and dexterity in similar values. Although for a lower level character like 150 or 125, using the heavy affinity will give you a really good damage out output as well. It is important to mention that this weapon presents an A scaling on occult affinity but is not different from using it on heavy. Using this affinity will make you waste some stats points just to be able to use the weapon, so I wouldn't use the occult affinity this time. The setup we have here today focuses on dealing a lot of damage with only one charge heavy attack, but if you want to change something to make it feel more suitable for your playstyle, go ahead, test it a little bit and as long as you don't skip something important of this build, your weapon will be solid as a rock. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Mesmer Soldier Spear on plus 25 with the Royal Knight's Resolve as you are on the quality affinity and we need any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist as you are to be able to dodge the Mikela's Light Explosion attack. The best looking combination for this build is the Horn Warrior Armor with the Wide Red Gauntlets and Grips and the Dane's Hat. But if you want to deal the max damage possible with this build, you can use the Rakshasa's Armor Set. In this case, I will only use 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's Armor Set because I find the Dane's Hat extremely stylish. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the Axe Talisman, the Two Handed Sword Talisman, the Spear Talisman, and the Millicent's Prosthesis. I am actually using this one just because I don't know which other talisman I could combine here, because with these 3 talismans the weapon is already very strong, so if you have any suggestion of which talisman we can add in this slot, feel free to add it in the comment section. I was thinking about the dagger talisman, but most of your targets will be destroyed before you even break their stance. In our flask of wonders physic, we are going to use the blood sucking crack tier and the spike crack tier. Once again, with this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be blood boy aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, feel free to use flame grandin strength. And this weapon consists seems a decent amount of stamina so be sure to craft some pickle torten legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 40 on endurance, 74 on strength, 55 on dexterity and 25 on fate. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can clearly see I have my Scattertree Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal as much damage as I will do, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin? with the boss fight. Ok guys, now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then cast Golden Vow and need a Pickle Torten Leg which is completely optional as always say but it is necessary to regenerate your stamina faster, then use your body buff, in this case it's going to be Blood Boy Aromatic, but you can use Flame Grand Strength perfectly fine. Now refill your HP, your FP. And when you are close to attack your enemy, you have to use Royal Knight's Resolve because it only lasts 10 seconds. It is not that short, but you have to do it once you are fighting your target. As you can see, we didn't use any other extra buff, but you can add any other buff to deal even more damage such as the Poison buff, the Madness buff, or even the Bleed buff. The Bleed buff is the easiest one to use, but it will completely ruin the aesthetic of this build, so I will just leave it up to you. No way. Okay. No way, buddy. You can't be serious. Is he getting? Oh my god, beautiful baby! <laughs> he is slower. I feel that it is slower, but maybe it's just an illusion. 
Oh, that was close. Oh my god. What are you doing? Come on. Okay. What is going on? Let's do it. Let's go, baby! We did it! Finally! <laughs> Very good. Oh, amazing, bro. It worked. <laughs> oh, no. I need to use this. Now we can go crazy. What up, man? Let's go. Okay. Nice, there is a huge amount of damage there. Okay, now this. Why are you alive? <laughs> no! <laughs> no way, bro! <laughs> hey there, homie. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, I switch back to my weapon now. Nice. This is going to be a lot better. That is a lot better. Come on. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Now I am ready for this, bro. Nothing can stop me. Nice. Nice. That is perfect. Amazing. Nice. Take this. Oh, that is a huge hit. And that's it. Nice, baby. Oh, no way I didn't break her stance, bro. This might work, though. Yeah, that works, I guess. Yeah! Okay, let's see what I can do. You feel me? Oh, there's a lot of damage, but die. That is not the best of your ideas, man. <laughs> you are watching that I am dealing a lot of damage and you give me a few space to do a little bit more. Oh! Nicely done, beautiful.
<laughs> Let's see, my friend wants to fight. Okay, nice. Oh my god, that is very cool. Oh, take this. Oh, that is a powerful hit, my boy. And take this big one. No way. <laughs> that was very close, man. Oh, I knew it, bro! <laughs> Hey guys, now we are ready to fight our homie. Wow, I am very lucky against this guy sometimes. Oh, oh it preserved it! No way! Wow! <laughs> hey there, my boy. Nice. There you go. Nice. Amazing. Nice. That's what I'm talking about now. Time to go crazy, baby. Come on, a few hits will do the thing. Only a few hits do magic with this weapon, bro. Nice. And take this powerful hit and say goodbye. <laughs> nice. <laughs>